Light up for full point alpha. And we're not up there. They don't know what's over that next hill or what could be coming towards them. Nobody else in the world can provide the wide area of surveillance that we do on J Stars. If they're moving, we see them. That changes the rules. For more than 18 years, Joint Stars, our nation's joint surveillance target attack radar system, has provided unparalleled intelligence and surveillance to our troops fighting the global war on terror. There's guys on the ground who are not going to get killed as a result of our radar working out there. Things are not going to happen that would have happened otherwise because the Army on the ground knows who is around them and what's going on. These guys are on the ground, they're with the bad guys, so they don't have eyes on the back of their heads to help look at things farther away than what their field of view is. So that's where we come in. Unlike traditional pulsed radar, Joint Stars can detect and track targets over a field of view covering many miles. During Operation Iraqi Freedom, our troops faced an enemy that used blinding sandstorms to mask its troop movements. But Joint Stars could penetrate that cloak of invisibility, alerting U.S. forces on the ground and in the air. Tanker Texaco 1-5 and Sid at uh, 2010 zero. There's no way that they could see as far behind the lines as what we look at. We're looking at forces that are moving as far as one day away from making contact with friendly forces. Anytime the enemy's trying to move any of their equipment, uh, we're going to be able to see that. We can give them that, that big picture and say, hey, you know, this is what's ahead of you, behind you, this is where the danger is. Joint Star's advanced communication systems provide a critical link between ground and air. It gives us the capability to coordinate and communicate with ground forces and air forces simultaneously and enhance the coordination between the two forces during operations. After 13 years of service, the technology and capabilities of the platform continue to evolve. But the engines are growing old. The greatest challenge is with it being an old engine, they call it tired iron. We average approximately 26 unscheduled engine removals a year with this engine. It's just old, wore out. Time out of service means leaving our troops unprotected. But now, re-engined with Pratt & Whitney's JT-80-219 engines, Joint Stars is continuing to revolutionize combat capabilities. We can't go as high as we'd like to right now. When I'm higher up, I can see down the backsides of mountains. The more fuel efficient you are, the less you burn, it buys you that maybe 15 or 20 minutes. That can be the difference between getting to a guy alive or maybe not getting to him at all. I personally have shut five motors down while I was overhead, and that's taken away my ability to support the troops, and we should never have to do that. The motors will allow j Stars to eliminate that problem. If there's guys down there in trouble, we have to stay there to help them out. Without those engines, without the long-term sustainability of the jet, it just wouldn't be possible. We'll be able to fly the airplanes longer and with a better maintenance record than what we have right now. Our maintenance folks do a great job, however these engines are old and they have a tendency to break down. We do not let guys move on the ground unless j Stars is in the air, so if we have an aircraft without an engine that was scheduled to fly, things aren't going to move until we're actually airborne. Pratt & Whitney's JT-80-219 engines will make it possible for the Joint Stars platform to fly and perform at the parameters it was designed for.